What's up, YouTube? Trombone King here. How's your day been? Hope you're having a good one. Uh, this is a quick uh, tutorial video. I really don't know why I'm making a tutorial video. Um, any of you guys that are out there that are you know, serious about editing, that actually know what you're doing, are going to spend this entire video saying, oh my gosh, you're using all the wrong terminology, You everything you do is so inefficient, and whatever. Uh, I, I, have a, I have a wonderful, wonderful subscriber, Hunt SD, who asked how I used how I did a certain uh, text effect in my last uh, AMV for Bulletproof Picasso, and I tried to explain it in in comments, and it didn't work very well. So I'm going to make this video just to uh, just to explain uh, how I did it. Uh, and again, I apologize for not sounding very awake. It's like six in the morning when I'm recording this. Um, so yeah. So the first off, uh, this is Movie Studio Platinum. Um, so a lot of you might know about Sony Vegas. Which is uh, which is their pr their uh, pr premier professional product? Uh, Movie Studio is kind of like their Sony's very just basic video editing editing uh, platform. Then Movie Studio Platinum takes their basic platform and adds a few extra settings. So like, it's like in Movie Studio Platinum, you have you have this simple editing mode, which is completely worthless and I never use it, or advanced, which then gives you basically enough tools to do what you need to do to create, start creating cool stuff. Um, and again, Hunt, I don't know what uh, software you're using. Um, I'm just kind of giving you an idea of uh, where I'm at here. So you want to know how to do that text thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Media Generators and Tiles and Text. And we're going to go ahead and add this default text. And this brings up our little dialog here. And yes, my computer sucks. It's a, it's this really old laptop that I don't really have time to try and replace. We'll just zoom in just to get an idea. So here, <coughs> this gives us our little <coughs> dialog box where we have all these options to mess with. So we can change our text. We can change all. We have all sorts of fonts. Um, change the color, all the, the basic animations, you can change scale, which kind of just kind of zooms in on it like that, you can set the location of the text, then you can move, you know, move it all around, you know, do whatever you want to do. Um, but what we are interested for this purposes of this video is, under advanced, it's called tracking. And again, I don't know if I'm using, this is not the right terminology, but basically tracking controls how scrunched up or stretched out the text is. So, so that's, so, you, so you're probably already seeing, like, oh, okay, that's how he did it. Well, one of the great things about actually using a semi-decent software, unlike Movie Maker, is you have this little button right here, which is animate. When you click here, you can now animate the, the property of the effect. It's, it's not just like Movie Maker where you just add the effect and it's like, oh, okay, well, well now you have whatever the effect whatever the effect does, that's what's going to be. I can actually control, I can actually animate down to, the, down to the frame every single property of every single effect. So you can just create, you can create a frame and say, it's okay, at, four, at the four second mark, I want tracking to be like that. And over here, I want it to be like that. So I'm 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 just screwing around here, just to kind of show you how how it, how uh, how it, how it, how it kind of operates. So I then hit play, and so so it stretches out for four seconds, and then it compresses. So that this is, so that's kind of the basic proper basic principle. Um, now I'm just going to show you um, bulletproof Picasso and what I did for that for those actual for those actual text effects. Um, and I do want to apologize. I was so inefficient in my use of tracks. It's just it's just not even funny. Um, let's you know, zoom out. Okay, so yeah, we'll. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can actually see what we're doing. So, 
So again, I, Hunt, I don't know what software you're using, but you know, it's, it's kind of self-explanatory. You have, you have your various, uh, you have, you have your various video tracks, um, where, where you can then add, uh, text boxes. <coughs> and so we've, we've animated tracking. Um, I actually had to adjust the duration even just because you, um, just because you cut the clip out, this duration was still set to 10 seconds, and so I had to drop, so I had to adjust it to the actual length of the clip, which is uh, 2 seconds two seconds and 19 frames. And so all I did was keep, I start at the, I start the clip at zero tracking, and then at, at, a, at a point, I, at a point, I, I'm still at zero and then to the end of the clip, I increased the tracking up to five. And Hunt, I know you're a marching band guy, and um, I actually marched in high school and college, so this is how I think of keyframes. I think of it like sets of drill. Each each of these keyframes is a set of drill, and the space between the keyframes is the movement between each set. So for, and here, I want my tracking to be zero. Here, I have my tracking to be five, and that just kind of... That, 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 that's how I, that's, that's just one of my, that's one of the ways I get my brain around it. And again, this is super, super basic, and any of you that have actually done any serious editing are just screaming at me right now, and that's okay, because, you know, I, I, I never admit, I never, no, no, I have, I have no clue what I'm doing. So, so that's how you get the, the tracking effect, and then, very simply, with our nice, nice little fade tool, we, where we can just, where we can just drag, drag, we can we can just drag out a fade, and so basically we're just we're just combining an animated tracking with a fade, and when we put all that when we put that together, we get that, and so the so the text the text stretches out, and then it runs the fade, and so then what I did was once once I had made the paper clip right this <laughs> paper clip, once I made this paper clip right here, I just copied it. And pasted it whenever I needed that effect, and I just changed the text just so that I wasn't having to animate every single word in this whole thing. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's about it. Um, hopefully, Hunt, that answered your question. And again, I apologize to all of you actual, you know, no serious editors out there because I've because <laughs> I know, I know this is this is not good. I'm I, I'm I'm not very good at this. Uh, but uh, Hunt one Hunt was asking a question, and I thought I'd. Do my best to answer. So, um, if any of you are, uh, are using a Sony product, or or maybe uh, if you are using some other product and you kind of you kind of kind of see it's like okay, okay, that's how I can do it in my software, then uh, maybe this help helps some of you guys out there. So uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So until next time, this is Trombone King eighty seven signing off.